Hello guys. In this video, I will show you building a high quality professional streaming website without knowing how to code. We will use a new AI code editor IDE tool called Tray AI that uses Claude 3.5 Sonnet model for coding. Stay tuned till the end of the video and you learn so much about the coding with AI. Please like this video, subscribe, and, and leave the comments. Now, let's get started with the actual video. Hello guys, what is up? Welcome back to AI Startup Secrets. My name is Himanshu. I have been coding with these AI code editors for a while. I have come across this another amazing code editor called Trey AI. And guys, in this video, we will test out if Trey code editor can really beat Cursor and Windsurf code editor. So guys, in this video, we will do a complete review of this tool. We will build a full stack application using this code editor. This is what I have been really waiting for long time and finally we have the tray editor for the windows and earlier this was only available for mac os now this is available for windows and it's coming for linux users very soon and now this is available for windows so i just downloaded this and now i am going to actually try it and build a full stack movie website using this code editor so i have downloaded this and installed this so guys this is the application this is the interface my first impression about this is that i really like the design and the UI of this code editor. Unlike Windsurf and Cursor, I really like the very polished icons and components here. And also this looks like quite different from uh, Windsurf and Cursor because uh, Windsurf Cursor are ditto copy of VS Code. And this doesn't look anything like VS Code. I mean, this still has the same layout of VS Code, but still we have some additional features. If I zoom in, you can see that we have a new uh, select project menu here. And from here you can see select any recent projects, open a folder, and you can clone a Git repository, which is amazing. Then we have these menu options here, just like any other code editor. We have this menu on the left, left hand side, the explorer here, just like VS Code, search option, source control. And one feature that really makes Tray stand out from the competition is this new web view feature. So using this feature, you can preview your web application inside the code editor. Uh, you don't have to open the link in another browser and then switch between the code editor and the browser window back and forth so you can like view preview the output inside the code editor just like bold and lovable so if you have used bold.new or the lovable.ai tools you know what i'm talking about so we have a live web view we will see this in a bit and then we have the extension store here you can install your in any of your favorite extension so now let's move back you can literally use this tool for literally free why because this is a new tool there in the beta phase like just like windsurf this is now available for free if you really want you can actually go ahead and use this tool as much as you want so i suggest you to like download this tool take take full advantage of it as long as it's available for the use of free and if you like it then you can continue paying for it well guys now uh, let's start with the tutorial so i will click on this select project menu here and then i will open my project folder I i'll go to the project folder i'll go to my my coding folder then I will open the folder that I created and now the folder has been loaded and so the folder has been loaded uh, just like all the other code editors we have two options here we have the chat option here then we have the builder option so if you just want to chat to the AI if you don't want the AI to make any changes to your code or generate any code you can just chat with it you can build a plan before you actually start building the application but if you have already have built a plan that you can then you can click on this builder you can write down your prompt here it will start generating code for you start making changes to your code and in this uh, code editor, editor, we have access to the Claude 3.5 Sonnet model, which is the godfather of AI coding. I always suggest you to first uh, actually build a full plan for it. Well, I have already built the plan for my application. So I have, so I'm just going to copy this prompt. I'm going to paste this prompt. You can ask uh, chat GPT for help to write down prompts like this, or, and you can also use your own knowledge and information after doing research. And you can then decide on what text tag you want to use, which language framework you want to use. How would you like your page layout to be? What color themes would you like, etc. So I have decided everything here. I'm using Next.js with sad cn ui swiper and emotion and then this is my 
page layout header menu so i have actually I put all the information here then i have i have told the ai about the core features of my application and i also it told it about the color and theme of my website i think i'm done with everything now i'm gonna click on this send button and now ai will start doing its thing ai agent is thinking now that it, it will code for my application on autopilot first it will create uh, start with creating the project so it's asking for my permission i'm gonna hit run and it ran into some error while creating the project. So guys, this is the good thing about AI agents. Like it, it actually has access to terminal. So it can actually look at the error messages here and it will try to look at the error and try to provide me another, an, another terminal command, which I can use. And it will see if my app is created. So it's asking me for the project name. So I'm gonna uh, put the project name in small letters and it's asking me for some features. Like if you, if I like to use turbo pack, I'm gonna hit yes on everything. It's installing all the dependencies, TypeScript, Node, React, uh, Tailwind, ESLint. Then it will ask to download the sad Sheen UI. It's going to take a while because Next.js installation can take a bit of time. So I'm going to pause and I'm going to come once it's done. So guys, my project has been successfully created. You can see here now the agent is moving on to the next task, which is to install these libraries like sad Sheen, swiper emotion library etc so i'm gonna hit run and it will start installing all these libraries into my project and you can look at the project here all the folders etc so yeah now it's installing these libraries so i'm gonna pause the video and i will come back once it's done libraries have been installed here as you can see and now it's asking for the end uh, for the init command initialization command so i'm gonna hit run uh, and we ran into some errors now it's going to try to uh suggest give me another command i'm gonna hit run again and it has been done now it's gonna run another command so I'm gonna just keep saying yes, 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 and it will do it. So guys, another library has been installed. Now it's asking to add some UI buttons to the project. So I'm gonna hit run. So guys, all the UI components have been installed. Now we are creating a CSS file and the AI agent is doing its thing. This is amazing thing about AI code editors that the AI agent will do everything for me. It's writing the code. This is literally amazing. I am really amazed by how much technology Technology has advanced in the recent years back in the days this was a dream of mine to write code by myself because I didn't know any programming language but now I can do with the help of AI so it's trying to create the, some pages but for some reason it's failing so we'll see what's the reason why it's not able to create the pages now the code editor has started making uh, changes to the files here you can see that it's making changes to the file then it asks for a review. I'm going to hit accept all. So once you accept, then it's move on to the next, uh, making changes to the next file. So I'm just going to do, I'm going to let it do what it's trying to do here. Well, now AI is done writing the code, has run the app. We can open this app by clicking on this button here. But we can also see this in the preview option here, which mentioning. You can see that it is trying to load the code and we are running into some error. So what we can do now is we can uh, actually go to the actual page. 3000 in my terminal. This is the error that we are running with. So I'm going to just copy the uh, error from here first copy the message and i'm gonna paste in the chat bar fix this error I, i'll type the error in the bar and it will try to fix the errors by itself so yeah it noticed there is some uh, error path resolution issue in the layout file so it cannot find the ai components now it is trying to fix the error it's making changes to the file so that error has been fixed now let's m fix the error in the global css file so i'm gonna accept the changes i'm gonna say fix this error also then i'm gonna provide the, the error message so guys one thing you can do is you can come to the problems tab here you can right click and copy the problem messages or you can also go to the preview page and you can copy this code and provide to your ai chat and then it will fix the error for you so it now it's trying to fix css errors it failed for some reason it's tr trying to do it again I think we need to add some library to fix it. Now this is trying to install it. Yeah, that has been installed. Now it will try to make the change to the file. We accepted the changes, but nothing happened. So I'm gonna control plus C and copy this again. The error is still there. Then I'm gonna 
paste the error now it will look at the error and try to fix it meanwhile we can refresh and see here so we have one error as of now you can see that we can always preview the code now i will take the different approach i'll come here i will copy this error Control plus c or i can right click copy then i will say so yeah this is another attempt to fix the error uh, after like lots of debugging this is what i was able to come up with the help of this ai to ai code editor guys i am literally mind blown by the quality of code this editor generates like literally this website looks as good as any other popular website out there i mean the the ui and the everything looks pretty good like you can check like i can a change pages i can change pages i can browse through new movies i can like go to the previous page etc and and then we have options in the menu we have movie categories sign in sign up buttons well guys these menus and options are not functional yet as you can see because i have not uh, told ai to start working on these pages which i will in a bit so now let's continue building this website but for now this looks really amazing i mean this is a fully complete a website and guys for the api i uh, uh for the api i was using this website called tmdb so you can go to google and you can search for this tmdb api key you can get your own api key and then you need to put the api key in your environment dot local file and then this way it will be able to show you content now let's try to build this application more so i will say the movies the movies tv shows and tv shows and genres page are not showing any content building the content in that page in those pages so now ai is doing its thing and now it is building those pages as well so now i click on the movies page and now the page is also working you can see that movies page is also working we have a fully functioning website i can look at the name of the movies etc and i think there's one more thing that i would like to be edited here so i will accept the changes now it will try to make changes to the other pages so guys this is how uh, my website looks so far i mean this is really good i have no complaint with this i mean and the fact that i was able to build this under 30 minutes i am really impressed by this you can see that the images are rendering very good you can click on any movie category you can click on tv shows this will load the some of the popular tv shows you can short by popular top rated and you can also short by the latest this is really good website that i was able to build with ai you can also click on the generous button filter out clicking on different categories you can click on documentaries i mean this is a fully working website with a great looking design ui the only thing we need to add is we need to add a functionality to this sign in and uh, sign in and sign up button for that we need to set up database which i will do later and we also need to make individual pages so for now if i click on any of this the page does not open so now we need to go back to the ai and tell it that the project looks good so far now let's make individual pa pages for each movie tv show use a good design with a player option on top show a youtube player and two other streaming options to them which i will add sources later and i will hit send and now the agent will start doing its thing so i'm gonna wait and let it do its thing then i will come back so guys after some chatting with ai i was able to build this application and this looks really good i mean this looks as professional as any other professional streaming service out there this is the power of coding with this ai tool this is really amazing tool if you want you can go ahead and go to trade.ai and download this tool for free and start using it to build projects so guys this is all for this video thank you so much for watching subscribe to the channel if you want more videos like this drop a like on this video and join our discord group for to chat with me and i'll see you guys in the next video peace